my fellow youtubers welcome back welcome back to my channel hi this is Nikki Fu. well guys I am continuing on with my sneaker collection so we have done the part where there are the shoes that Michael Jordan wore while he was in the NBA we have done my SB collection and now this is just Jordan's so these are not shoes that he wore. These are just Jordans that I like and I rock. So we're gonna start off with Jordan 1 Spider-Mans. These are still dead stock. I was gonna rock them one day. My son and I was supposed to went to uh, see the Spider-Man movie, not the one that just came out recently the one before that something happened we didn't go so I never did get to wear these and these are the spider-man twos um, I like the spider-man ones better um, but I had to put these into the collection because I got the ones gotta get the twos right so it's pretty cool that everybody found out later that the bottom of these glow. <laughs> but I don't know, it really doesn't do anything because it once you take the light out, the light off of it, it just goes back to normal. So it really doesn't glow for a long period of time at all. Of course, lost and found. Still dead stock. As you see, I still rock my 2015 Chicago, so I really don't feel the urgency in on DS and E's. So, but they're in a the collection and I had to get those the story of all those the box the presentation was excellent hey Jordan Bread and Nike they did that one right they did that one right got the off-white UNC's R.I.P. to Virgil I wanted these shoes badly I got burned on these shoes I got suckered in. I bought a fake pair. That's an alarm, but got the real ones. 85 black and whites. Jordan 1 high. Storm Blues. Royals. Jordan 1 Royals. Jordan 1 Shadows. And Metallic Purples. Jordan 1 Metallic Purples. Okay, so I have to put those away. Get those out of the way because this is going to be a while. So let's start off with the bubble gums. Let's see. Oh, this ain't the one with the bubble gum on the bottom. It's the other shoe. But it was this uh, atmospheric pink or something like that, or or the bubble gums is what they call these. These are pretty nice. It's got that pearl patent leather around here and around the collar here and the toe box. But this navy blue and pink. I rocked these a few times. They're not that stock. My patent breads. They are dead stock. Have not rocked them. Yep. I was a little impatient with these. Um, because I actually could have waited and got these, but I went on ahead and ordered them off of StockX, but I actually could have waited. Um these shoes were so hyped at the time that I didn't think there would be another opportunity for me to get these. So I jumped the gun and got them off of StockX and still haven't rocked them. <laughs> That's why I say you learn, live and learn. And one of the things you're going to learn about, patience. Georgetown 85s. 
I rock these. These are not dead stock. And as I always say, which is true, but the 85s are very painful. They hurt. See? See how hard this is right here? There's no give. And this digs into the back of your leg. They're not comfortable. And the leather is so hard. It's not tumbled at all. So, yeah, you pay the price until you break them in. Once you break them in, it's all right, but it take a while. A long while. Now, these shoes, I love these shoes. I don't understand what happened with these. I thought these shoes was going to go through the roof for real. I thought this was a unique presentation. I thought it was pretty cool. I like the writing all over it, saying um, they can't stop you from wearing them. You know, the story, the, the box was beautiful. I don't know what happened with these, but I like them. I got them in my collection. And a lot of people was thrown off because this was a shadow. You know, this is, looked like a, a shadow. And then you got the band on the back of it. So they thought it should have been a bread. I, I don't know, but I liked it. And these are comfortable. See the difference? Look at this. I can fold this down. See how soft that is? That's the difference between the 85 and the regular. But I've rocked those several times. I like those. This was an impulse buy. But I thought I was going to wear it in the summer. This is the Volts. This is when they was experimenting with all that cracked leather before the um, Lost and Founds came out. They dropped these shoes with this cracked leather. I think it was like a trial period to see how the people will react to it, I guess. But yeah, I was gonna wear this um, in the summertime. I never got around to wear it, but it pretty much was an impulse buy. Jordan 1 Heritage. Swapped out the laces. These are not dead stock. I rock these. They are not heritage. Why do I keep calling them heritage? Those are. That's a bad gun shame. They're not the heritage stuff. The heritage are the red and white. I can't think right now what they're called. Brotherhoods. Man, I love these. The leather on here is fantastic. There's some good leather on here. I like the colorway. I, I, I found stuff to wear with it. So, yeah. I like these. Another fave. Another fave. Obsidian blue. Now, I love these. These are comfortable. These are in the same state as mine. Um, royals and shadows, they're in that comfortable state. You can wear these pretty much with anything. They have some patent leather ones like these called the Blue Chill. I didn't get the, blue, uh, the patent leather because I didn't need it. I, it would probably just sit. So I have these, so that's good enough. Metallic blues. That's a special. Metallic reds. Now, this was the year last year when Jordan Brandon was <laughs> it was doing the ladies right. They was doing us right. These are the nostalgia. This was a woman's release. It's got the uh, kind of like the Letterman's jacket material, the Chanel material on the swoosh. Uh, I don't know why 
I don't know why this. I don't know. They didn't. They didn't do well, but I mean they're not around, but they didn't fly off the shelves like everybody, you know, was thinking that they would. But I like them. Like I said, Jordan Brandon them was looking out for the women last year, big time. Another woman's release. These denims. Nice looking shoe. Nice. I just haven't gotten around to wear them, but I am going to wear them. Got the little debray on here. That's really what got me. That took me back because when I was uh, in my high school days, these are the earrings everybody had. They call them bamboo earrings. When everybody had their name going across it. Exactly like this debray. Yep. This is definitely back in my day when we used to wear overalls. This this would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. But like I said, wasn't as much style in sneakers other than Jordans. Then you got the who? What was this called? Um, starfish. The starfish. Well, I can't think, but they was mimicking at the Birkin bag. That's what the little thing right here, leather thing right here, like the Nike hang tag. Oh, what was these called? Was it Starfish? Oh, I can't remember, but this is the closest I can get to a shadow backboard because I don't have a shadow backboard in my collection. Taxis, yellow toes, taxis, whatever you want to call it. But it's some good leather on here. It is some good leather on here. No, I was not letting these get by me. No way, no sir, no sir, no sir. I was copying them. These are the, not the biohacks. <sighs> Y'all gotta forgive me. Y'all gotta forgive me. Uh, handcrafted, handcrafted, something like that. Jordan ones. I had a, a idea for this shoe, a fit that I wanted. I just couldn't find what I was looking for. But I'm still looking. Up. Patience, patience. No rush. The shoes ain't going nowhere. And remember. But I do have a vision for those shoes. These are the fuchsia pinks. Man, the leather on here. Good, good, good. There's some good leather too. I rock these a lot, quite a bit, quite a bit. I got a few hoodies these colors. T-shirts, these colors. So yeah, I've rocked those. I'm my man here. Another one of those crack leather shoes. I, I I love their shoes. I like their presentation. Their quality be on point. These are not dead stock. I rock these. I don't have no complaint. I like all my shoes. Hyper Royals. Man, these and those Turbo Greens went crazy. Everybody had to have them. I like them. They're so soft. Real comfortable to wear. You, you can easily wear these every day and, man, beat these to death. But I wear these quite a bit too. Hyper Royals. These were called the Stealth Gray. Gray stealth or something like that. All this is is Travis Scott in gray <laughs> and white and the swoosh going the right way. Cause if you flip it, you got you a Travis Scott. But nah, uh, these got good, great leather on them. This is a shoe that if you don't dig it like this in this color, you can easily customize these. And the leather is 
Man, you can't, you can't beat the leather. You can't beat the leather. Now these are the heritage. The red and white. They're just like the gray and white steps, but red and white. See, that's why I gotta start, <laughs> you know, looking at things and being more selective on things, because I have a lot of dead stock shoes and I'll never give myself the opportunity to wear it. Uh, Shadow 2.0s. Not their stock. Uh, David Letterman's. Never even wore these. Never even wore these. These shoes was, um, one of Michael Jordan's first interviews, he was did it with uh, David Letterman, and he wore this. <laughs> that was a bad sweatsuit he wore. <laughs> that bad taste, bad choice. It was didn't didn't look too hot. So yeah, that's what they're supposed to represent the suit that he wore. And then it's got like stuff on the inside, like on the insole says on air and stuff like that. But yeah. These are named the David Letterman. What were these called? Uh, of course, you see they still dead stock. I don't know why is it I cannot remember these names now. I, I don't know. I guess I put myself on the spot, huh? But it's got like this crinkled leather where it looks like it's. Uh, wrinkled. That's just how it comes. These are still dead stock. Never been worn. Why can't I remember the name of these shoes? Then watch. As soon as I'm finished with this video, it'll all come to mind. That's how it happens, man. That's how it happens. Still dead stock. And I hooped and hollered for these shoes. I wanted these shoes so bad. And look, still there and stuff. See what I'm saying? Because if I rock my Hyper Royals or my Obsidians, why do I need to rock these? That's what I'm saying. Too many choices I give myself, but it ain't nothing like having a clean pair though. Clean pair. Stage Haze. Stage Haze. I'll rock this a few times, quite a bit. I like these. I like these. These got like that crack leather on there too, but it's not that bad. You can't even hardly tell that it's that crack leather. But this is a good everyday decent shoe. This is one of the reasons I didn't get the wash black shoes that dropped this year. It's because I had these. So I was like, if I get the wash black, I'm either going to wear these and not wear the wash black, or I'm going to wear the wash black and not wear these. So that's why I passed on them. That's why, you know, if you see me passing on a shoe, it's not because I don't like the shoe. When I get through with this, you'll see why I pass on some shoes. But sometimes I can't help myself because I really, really like the shoe. <laughs> Ain't got no business getting the shoe, but I really, really like it. True blue. Now, these is clean. These are clean. I don't know why a lot of people passed on them, but that's okay by me. Because these are clean. I didn't rock these several times. Now, this shoe was a reach back. I literally passed on this shoe because this shoe is, it's outfit specific. You know, you can't just rock this with anything, right? But, Jordan had, uh, it was called Ultimate 30 Sale. Not Jordan, sorry, Nike. Nike store had an Ultimate 30 Sale. So it was 30% off of this shoe, plus I had a $50 gift card. So I only paid $90 for this shoe. Who gonna let that go by? Even if I wear it two, three times, I got my $90 worth in my eye. 
So, yeah. And I've rocked them. I have worn them. And I figured this will be my new uh, Golden State shoe. So when I wear my Golden State um, jersey and stuff like that, I can rock it with this. For $90? That's what I'm talking about. Now here go to wash pink. And the wash pink is like how the wash black is. Except for it was black instead of pink. I like these. I rock these already. These are not dead stock. Like these. I thought they was cute. Real cute. I tell you, Jordan brand no one playing with the ladies. They they told us we better not open our mouth not nine times saying that we don't get no shoes. <laughs> Lucky greens. These was nice too. Since I don't have the pine green ones, hey, just as good. Cause I am missing that. What is these? Uh, royal? Not royal toe. USC toe. USC toe. Still dead stock. Have not even rocked them. See, that's what I'm saying. I got my obsidians, but. I had to get them. I had to get them. Couldn't let them sit there. I had to get them. Listen, if I change my mind later, I surely wasn't spending resale. All right. These are probably, I think, my only Zoom Comfort shoe. This is a Year of the Rabbit shoe. So I had to get it. To complete the set for the year of the rabbits but it's a zoom comfort jordan one zoom comfort i like the colors i like the color that sea foam color i like that had to get them i don't have the mochas so i had to get these they the closest I got to the mochas. These nice looking, but I have not rocked them yet either. Have not. Have not. But they're the Jordan 1 Palominos. But I like them. And I will wear them. These I will wear. Just haven't had time yet. That's all. Just did a video on these not too long ago. These the Ama Minier airships in the black and white colorway. Yeah, I'm going to be rocking these a lot. I will be. Just ain't got to it yet, but it's coming. Then these are the Tech Gray PEs airships. Then you got the Ama Minier uh, airships. Now these are a numbered pair. This is 254 out of 2300. So this is a numbered pair. Then I got the Every Game airships. Still haven't rocked them. I know y'all talking about me, ain't it? I know y'all are. Like, dang, how many dance like shoes she got? I already know. I know. But if I want them, I got to get them when I can. Or I'll wind up having to pay resale for them. And I don't want to do that. These are the every game in the UNC colorway. So... I'd rather just go ahead and get them if I think that I want them or think that I'm going to rock them. i go ahead and get them. Now, this is a Jordan 1 Mid. This is real comfortable. I rocked this quite a few times. Quite a few times. They are real, real comfortable. Yes, I wear mids. Then 
this is called it's a mid too i forgot what this was called uh who was this oh, i forgot what this was called but I, I bought these um i think to rock on a fourth of july i think it was uh, these got some good leather and i like that sail color versus it being white yeah this is straight i forgot what these are called though All right, now we're into the Jordan 1 lows. That was all my Jordan 1 highs. Now we're at the lows. Travis Scott low, mocha, reverse mocha. Still dead stock, have not rocked them yet. And then of course, you know, I just got these, which is the 85 neutral gray low. Yeah, I just got these, so I, I definitely haven't had time to rock, uh, rock those. I haven't even had time to find a case to put it in yet. <laughs> now, this was one of the shoes of the year last year. Boy, everybody went crazy over these. These Zion Voodoo's. Man, people went crazy over these. They like these. These are not that stock. I have rocked. And my shoe of the year this year. Year of the Rabbits. Jordan 1 Low Year of the Rabbits. See the rabbit right there and the number 3645 out of 5,000. Number pair. It's my shoe of the year this year. <laughs> and it's dead stuff. Dorn Becker Jordan 1 Lowe's. Yeah, the young lady that did this, she got down. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Job. That's her name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to butcher it, but that is her name. 14 year old. 14. And she designed this shoe. She got down. Now, this case, my UNC to Chicago Jordan 1 Lowe's. They're by the front door. So that's what went in this case right here. Then I have the black toe lows. Still dead stock, haven't rocked the check. Then these were, at first they were calling these the USC black toe. Um, I can't remember what the name of these was. But yeah, these are not dead stock. I rock these. Yeah, I, I like the lows. And I like the look at the leather, man. Some good leather on these. I'm a sucker for the materials, man. Get me every time. It's like these, these Mystic Navies. Get the leather on there. Yeah, I could let these go. Ah. Mm -mm. Plus, I, like I said, I was going through my Air Jordan 1 low phase. I was copying all the lows I could. <laughs> These are the University Red. Just a recent cop. Just recent. Good leather on these, too. So I say in the spring, summertime, I'll be straight. Be straight. Y'all have seen these probably a million one times. Travis Scott Olives. Love these. I don't understand how people decided they didn't like these. I already they, these ain't dead stock. I rocked these a few times already. A few times. Um, I like them. I like them. I wish the people that decided that they didn't like them, I wish they would have left them alone. Yeah, they could have filled it up. I could have got a few pairs then. But no, they want to go buy them and try and resell them and then get stuck with them. <laughs> these phantoms they're nice I don't know I like the phantoms like I say I can work, rock these ain't gotta worry about them getting dirty none of that yeah that's the only thing I hate about the resale game man y'all mess it up for the people who really want the shoe 
You know, if you can't sell the shoe, then what happens? You know, crazy. This is um kind of like that craft type stuff. These were called Air Jordan One Low EX. This is what they were called EX. They had a white and cream pair too. But yeah, these were pretty nice. It's pretty nice. They weren't bad at all. Something different. Something a little different. Jordan One Low Bleach Corals. Now these came out the same time those uh, Stage Haze came out. Those high top Stage Haze. These came out the same time. And they came out with the same name. Both of them was called Bleach Corals. How crazy is that? And so these, remember I was telling you about the wash black Jordan 1 highs? If you cover everything on here and just look at the toe of this, that's how the wash black look. That was the color of the wash black Jordan 1 highs. So these ones had like a, a touch of each one of the colors. The wash pink, wash black, and wash peach. You know, Jordan 1 lows. These are called Jordan 1 Low Matter Roots. I think that's what these were called. I brought these. You probably see the little wave and give me a toe. <laughs> Jordan 1 Low True Blue. I rock these. I burn these. Uh, Jordan One Low. Did they call these the shadows? I don't, I don't know if they called them the shadows or not, but I rock them in, instead of my shadows a lot. These are not that stuff. Uh, what are these called? I can't remember what these called, but. This is the reason why I don't think I'm going after the April SBs. Because they look so much like them. And the difference is, like I say, this panel, this is all leather. But on the April SBs, it's a mesh material. I like the leather better than the mesh material. But they look, they look just alike. Except for it says April right here. <laughs> And on the bottom, it's a translucent bottom with a rose. So that's the difference. So I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm going to pass on those Aprils. But if I wind up getting it, trust and believe it will probably be just trade bait. Something like that. But most likely, I think I'm just going to leave it for the people who really want them. Because I don't really want them. Uh, tropical something something but I bought these to go with my all-star jersey my uh, Jordan all-star jersey he had an all-star jersey with these colors in it and it goes very well with it this tropical twist something like that I think that's what it was called Jordan 1 low Tokyo I got these during one of those little dry spurts that I don't understand Jordan and Nike when they do this but they'll let a month go where hard they have hardly any drops nothing really just dry right and then they come back and then they just slam you but this was one of those dry months and I found out that Jordan Brandon was in Japan opening up a new Jordan store in Tokyo and this was one of their highlighted shoes that they dropped. So, you know, I had to get in on it. I had to get, I had to get in. You ain't gonna leave me out. I had to get in. Jordan 2 Chateau Rouge. Now, this was a birthday gift from my son. Um, they're not dead stock. Just so y'all know, because I don't want y'all to be like, well, how your shoes so clean on the bottom if they ain't dead stock? 
I clean, I scrub the bottom of my shoes, clean the bottom of my shoes and spray it down with Lysol before I put it back in the case. And like I say, I do that to keep the germs out. You know, sometimes you outside, you step in bubble gum and people spit that stuff, tobacco stuff on the ground and I don't want to put that in my case. <laughs> so I clean and scrub my shoes before they go back in the case. But you know, these are not desktop. But it was funny um, how how I got these shoes because these were the shoes that he originally was buying me for my birthday. But you gotta wait for the final boss, right? And it was the day of my birthday, and <laughs> these shoes hadn't gotten here yet. So he called one of his friends, and they ran to the mall and got me another pair of shoes. They bought me another pair. I'll show you that. They bought me another pair of shoes because these shoes hadn't made it yet. And he didn't want to face me empty-handed on my birthday. But when he came back from the mall, the delivery guy already had delivered these. <laughs> so I got two pairs. These are the Jordan 2 Harolds. Uh, Howard. I want to say Harold. Howard. Howard um, from, uh, if you've seen the movie Air, he was very instrumental, a key instrument in getting Jordan to sign for uh, sign to Nike. So they gave him a shoe. And it's the shoe that he got. You got the H in the back back there. So this is like a shoe that probably won't, you know, re-retro or anything like that. So, you know, you got to get in, man. Got to get in when you can. Alright, so now you got the Amatu. Another on my shoe, you know, that quality, got, got that quality. And like I say, Jordan 2's ain't like my favorite silhouette and like that, but I like them, I rock them. You know, if I see something I like, I'll get them. But I, I haven't un these yet. Then you got the Union 2's. The gray pair and the rattan pair. Man, Union really messed up on this drop. Really, 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 really messed up on this drop. I mean, it doesn't take much for, you know, to turn people away. It don't take much. You know, you, that old saying where it says, um, you can have a million attaboys, but one old shit. They forget all about them attaboys. <laughs> And that's pretty much what happened to this shoe. That's pretty much what happened. Because Union was busting. I mean, Ama and Union, they were like neck and neck, back and forth, you know. Union had them Jordan 1s, them black toe Jordan 1s, and those storm blue Jordan 1s. And then the Jordan 4s, oh, they was, they was killing it with the collabs. Until this. Until that. See, it's all funny games till you play with people's money. And that was that was a crazy, crazy drop. Crazy drop. I mean people some people was getting charged umpteen times. And then they had to wait X amount of days or weeks to get refunded their money, supposedly. It didn't happen to me, thank goodness. Thank goodness. But, you know, that's what people was complaining about. That's what they were saying happened. So, I can't say for a fact that's what happened. Because I didn't have it happen to me. But, people were complaining a lot about it. And I'm pretty sure if you go back, check out some videos on it. Or, or IG pages. <laughs> you'll hear a whole lot about it. 
Then I got the off-white Jordan 1 Lowe's in the black. This was a Christmas gift from my son. Um, now, see this, this is what I do. Like if, if a drop is coming, I know a drop is coming because most of my cases is full, right? So now I got to go through this thing and weed out shoes that I, because I got to get rid of them. I'm not buying, I don't want to buy no more cases. I don't want to buy no more cases. So I weed out and see what shoes I could get rid of and pull out so I could trade, you know, and make room. So knew the J Balvin's was coming out, made room for a case for it. And guess what? Took a big fat L. Terrible. Terrible. I don't even think I had a chance at that shoe. Terrible. I really wanted the shoe. But, I'm not paying that resale price. It's way too high. Way too high. So, either I'll do my patience grasshopper and wait. Or, another shoe will come along. And it'll get filled. I'm my threes. Best one. Best one. Definitely sneaker of the year. Only other shoe that's even compatible to this would be the UNC threes, which I don't have. That might be the shoe that'll fill that slot. UNC threes. I hope it, I don't know. I don't know if they ever had the Nike Air on the back for the UNC threes or not. I don't know, but if they bring it back, I hope it comes back with the Nike Air on the back. But these are my threes. Yeah, they still dead stock. That's not a shoe that uh I wanna beat or mess up or <laughs> I'll take some good care of that shoe. Uh these are the Tinker, Tinker Hatfield threes. Got his name behind the tongue. Uh, 3M swoosh, 3M here. Nice black shoe. See, this what made me think about the Jordan 3 off Nord that just dropped, right? I got these. The off Nords got, see, these got the same cement, except for this is just black on black cement. The other ones got had like that cream. Cement, but it's pretty close, pretty close to the same shoe. But that was a good shoe, that was a nice looking shoe. That woman's Jordan 3 off Nord, that was that was a good shoe. If anybody cop that shoe and put that shoe in their collection, that's a good shoe. Good shoe. Uh, what's this called? A Toro Red 3s. That's why I say my situation when I buy these shoes is different from a lot of people. So you can't necessarily go upon what I do or think that, like I said, that I don't like a shoe. I have too many shoes close to it. Now these are what I was telling you about in my previous video when I said I had the white cement threes, but these are the free throw line ones. Good condition, ain't it? Great condition. I take care of these boy. But I gotta get the other shoe for you to see what I'm talking about when I say free throw line. See that red mark right there? It's supposed to indicate the free throw line. So yeah, they're in excellent condition. Well, like I, I, I needed a pair of white cement threes because I they were beat up. No, just needed a pair so I could wear these more often because I wasn't wearing them that often. But I was wearing. I was wearing. Then I got pine green threes. Pine green. You see, I like to fool around with my laces a lot. Pine green threes. What's these are? 
motor sport. Motor sport I take good care of my shoes now, y'all. Not clean. See how I clean the bottom? I take good care of them. Take good care of them. These are hmm, these either triple white or pure money. One or the other. But you know, next year in 2024, Jordan brand numbers, they got a craft three coming out the look kind of similar to this. Now, what I'm going to do, because that should look good too, but it's got kind of like some baby, look like some baby blue tint or hue to it. I don't know, but <sighs> these are still in great condition. So, I don't know, guys. No, no. Dark Iris. Dark Iris. Yeah, these, these are straight. I wear these a lot. They're not that hot. Now these ones are that stock. These are the Cardinal threes. Cause I wear my fire red threes, so those are that stock. These are not that stock either. I rock these. I like these. These ore wood. These just came out this year. I like these. I think I like that colorway. I think I like tans and browns, earth tones. I, I think I'm real keen on, on earth tones. But I like a lot of color too. Now these I really rock. I really, really like these Neapolitan threes. This was the woman's release, the Neapolitan threes. I really like these. I do rock them a lot. Justin Timberlake. Now these still there stock. I have not rocked these yet. Cause oh no. Ain't nothing wrong with them. This ain't rocking it. Now these are my grail. These Travis Scott fours. Man, I got rid of my Black Cat fours and my UNC fours to get these shoes. These was my grail. I always wanted these shoes. I haven't rocked them either since I got them, but I will. I got them off of eBay. I got a good deal for them. I always had wanted these shoes, but man, they were hard to get, man, hard to get. And the price was crazy, crazy. But since I had those black hats and uh, the USCs, I figured if I, if I got these, I would not be rocking the UNC's. I would be rocking these. And then my black hats, I really wouldn't wear. I was not even wearing. So, I will be rocking these though. I will. Oh, another good sneaker that came out this year. SB4's. Look at that. Man. This shoe is so clean, so clean, so clean. I hope they do change their mind and come out with more colorways. It's kind of up in the air, you know, one minute you hear they coming out with another colorway. Then you hear, no, they ain't, they ain't coming out with another colorway. Oh, they could, <laughs> very well should. I mean, but one a year, they don't have to like one a month, you know, <laughs> space it out. both of these I have rocked both of these these are the Union 4's off Noor and uh, who was these ones we had the man who were these <laughs> goodness gracious what the heck is he getting old that's what happens that's what happens, getting old. I tell you, as soon as I finish recording this video, you'll be like, oh, that's what they were called. Yeah. 
But either way, neither one of them are dead stock. I brought them. I'm not in year four. These are not dead stock. I rock these. I, I, I like them. I like them. Surely do. These are the women's uh, shimmer four. This is the closest I'll ever get to an off white four. This is the closest. Man, them off white fours, is, the price of the mugs is through the roof. And, Man, so many fakes out on them. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the closest I get. Military blacks. Now these are dead stock. These are still dead stock. I can't wait for the military. Those are the ones. Midnight Navies. Jordan 4 Midnight Navies. Still dead stock. Now, I love these. The Oreos. Jordan 4 Oreos. I like these actually better than the um, Cement 4s. And I think it's because it's a lot lighter. It's not that, they got that bold black make it real harsh that's just me but I like both of them but I like this one better George four lightnings I got this what two Christmases ago something like that two or three Christmases ago when they drop the year they drop yeah, that was a Christmas gift I wore them a couple of times. Now I like these. Infrareds. I like these. I've rocked these several times. I got an a infrared hat, a Jordan infrared hat to go with this. I like these. I'll rock these a lot. And I ain't worry about them getting so dirty either. I like these. Alright, Jordan 5's. We know what these is. Them Raging Bulls. I like Jordan 5's. So pretty much I, I, I rock my 5's uh, for the most part. For the most part. But that, I still got some dead stock ones too. But I like 5's. I love the way they look with uh, cargo pants. Like, you know what I mean? That type of pants. I like that. They look kind of good with that. Then you got the, um, what the heck were these called? <laughs> I had to double back and get these because I didn't get them at first. leather on these great fives. They hard, hard leather. I like tumble leather. But nostalgia. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Now these next two cases are empty. And guess what's supposed to go in those? On my fives. Dawn and Dusk. Man, it's gonna really hurt me if I don't get these shoes really hurt me. These them bluebirds. Some good, good, nice little suede on these. Man, I, I, I treat these really delicate because I don't want these to get stained or dirty. But, no, I rock these though. They're not dead stock, but 
when I be when I wear these, trust I'm I'm not waddling like a duck, but I'm very conscious of where I'm stepping. USC's have not rocked these yet. These are still that stock. I haven't rocked them yet. But I like I like that blue. Y'all really gonna trip on me now. <laughs> Y'all really gonna trip on me now. Still dead stock. Have not rocked either one. Off white Jordan 5's. Both of them still dead stock. Man, I look at how some of these people's shoes look. Who when they talk about how hard it is to clean these? Every time I think I'm going to put them on, I'll be like, nah, today ain't the day. <laughs> today ain't the day. <laughs> That's terrible, ain't it? But I, I, I'll rock them one day. I'll rock them one day. J. Khaled's both colorways. Um, this is still dead stock, but I've rocked these. I've, I've rocked these. Yeah, these are not dead stock. Man, the material on these shoes. See, this is what we'll be looking for. Well, I'll be looking for. I'll tell you that. The leather, the type of leather that they put on this, this, this is the leather that they need to use all the time. All the time. This good quality leather all the time that's what I'm talking about that's how I want my leather man quality but DJ Khaled must have made a lot of y'all mad cuz cuz y'all y'all don't want to fool around with DJ Khaled he ain't never done nothing to me and in my opinion he put out some good shoes What is this? Is it reverse grapes? Suede pair? That purple is like royalty, man. Look at that. That's like a royal purple for real. Look at I don't even know why I bought this shoe. Well, I know why I bought it, but I shouldn't. I bought this because I got a suede, a gray suede jacket. And this would go perfect with it. How often do I wear that gray suede jacket? I probably even wear that jacket in like two, three years. <sighs> they clean though. I ain't never worn them. They still dead stock. But, you know. So I'm talking about impulse buying and that's all due to the resale game because it wouldn't have been there to reach back for it you know except for you would have been paying a high price for it so whew. man but it's still a good clean shoe Jordan 6 USC's now this go Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly with my UNC Tar Heel jersey. I'm not a real big fan of this shoe, but it looks good together. I rocked them one time with the jersey and got a lot of compliments. And yeah, but it's really not my type of silhouette. It really is not. I don't know why people didn't like these shoes, but glad I got my pair. Jordan 7 Trophy Rooms. I think Marcus must have pissed a lot of people off too. <laughs> After what he did to his first Trophy Rooms. 
As I said, people, some people got short, short-term memories, you know. And then you got some people that hold grudges for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> Cause this is a nice shoe. Materials is nice. It's different, you know. The colors is nice. The packaging was nice. The story was nice. I like it. I like it. But, you know, sometimes people got to realize you can't just treat people any kind of old way. Do whatever you want to do because you could do it. Don't make it right. Don't make it right. Seventy-two and ten low. I rock these. These are not dead stock. I wish I got a bigger size though. These kind of ran kind of small, but I know once I break it in, it'll be perfect. Same thing with the violet ones. I'm a linear of colorways. The black and the white. I really, 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 really. I just think it's so clean. That rich color. And I mean, you got that booty backstroke going real good. Man, I think I just, I don't know, the color just looks so rich. So rich. I rock these like six or seven times already. I rock these, but I haven't done DSDs yet. See, see, see. Just had to eye my in here, right? This is what I'm talking about. It's the Vachetta tan and I think the burgundies or something like that. This is what I'm talking about. This is why a lot of shoes don't get worn because when you got other shoes, you know, that you could grab, they look just as good too. Ain't no sense of undressing the shoe just for the sake of undressing. Stealth 12s. So these was the shoes that my son and his friend went and got me for my birthday when they thought the other shoes wasn't gonna make it in time. So I got these and the Chateau Rouge Jordan 2s for my birthday. Not this year's birthday, last year's birthday. Jordan 13s. I think these shoes are pretty darn comfortable. Pretty darn comfortable. These ones was the uh, French blues, I think. And these were the Brave blues. Yeah, I think they're pretty darn comfortable. Jordan 14s, Winterize, Winterize 14s. Man, they're pretty comfortable too. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these. People act like they've never seen them before. <laughs> I guess they're not that common, I guess. I don't know, but they're nice. Still want the Ferraris, the all red ones. Man. Jordan 23, Year of the Rabbit. Man, they're just classic. Love it, love it, love it. Let 
These are the, uh, what's that? Jason Tatum's. Taco Tuesday. Jason Tatum's. Jordan 37's. These are Year of the Rabbit. These are Jordan 37s as well. I think, I think they're Jordan 37 Year of the Rabbit. Michael Jordan on the back. And these are Women Jordan 1 Low Elevate. The Elevate. The material on here. Look at that leather on there. It is so tumble. So tumble. Love the colors. And can you believe that this happens to be a numbered pair? I got number 15 out of 5,000. Trip me out. It's a woman's shoe. It's a year of the rabbit. Uh, this is a year of the rabbit shoe as well. This is a Lucas shoe. Is that the year of the rabbit right there? Yeah, this is Lucas' shoe. Yeah, got that. It's, it almost seemed like like you could take this red part out right here, like it's a sock inside of it or whatever, but it's extra, extra padded, boy. Really padded. But it's a Luca here the rabbit. And my final Jordan, I believe, is. Three, one, two. Year of the Rabbit Trainer. Such so Jordan Trainer. Year of the Rabbit. Three, one, two of Chicago's area code. <laughs> so I think. Oh, I do got a couple of more Jordans. Take that back. Take that back. Take that back. I got these Jordan 1 Spizites. Well, this ain't Jordan 1's. I take it back. This is a 4, uh, a Jordan 4, a Jordan 5, a Jordan 20, and a Jordan 6. All put together in one shoe. They were called Spizites. Spizites. This was a collab that uh, Jordan did with Social Status. Real light. Really, really light. This was my old Jordan 8, and this was my old Fire Red 3, my backups. <laughs> and I thought I was getting me a backup pair for the Black Cement 3s, but this was a custom pair, and this is what happens when you don't read before you purchase, because <laughs> it said right on there that it was a custom. And you see now the paint is cracking. You can see like that red. See that? Yeah. That faked out. So I do believe now I have completed my Jordan collection. 
and I'll continue on to the next video. I don't know where I'm going to go if I'm going to the Adidas Yeezys or if I'm going to the uh, Air Forces and Air Maxes. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. But if you guys still want to see what's going on in my collection, come back and see me. So why don't you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes. Until then, this is Nikki Pooh, and I'm out. Peace.